Let's go into messaging, take a look at how the messaging system works. You got visual voicemail, email messaging, and your standard text messaging client. As you can see here, you can break it up standard text messaging services. Uh, Nokia has conversations for its threaded view, uh, but you can still access uh, the inbox for sent and, and received messages. Bring up the new message here and I'll show you the on-screen keyboard. One of the changes that Nokia and T-Mobile have done with the Astound as opposed to the C7 is that they've added a portrait QWERTY keyboard. Uh, we're happy to see it here, but we're not so happy to use it. It is quite um, difficult to use. The keys are very small and narrow as you can see. But it does give you a haptic feedback when you type. You can see there. Uh, definitely will take some getting used to. We found it to be quite difficult to use the portrait keyboard. Um, a lot of mistakes were made. But if you turn it horizontally, they've also bundled a uh, swipe keyboard with it, which is a bit, bit easier to use. You can see swipe that's very popular on Android. It's also available for Nokia, and they pre bundled it on the phone here. Go over to the email client, you can see the different email clients that you can have set up. You can have a exchange client, there's a standard IMAP client as well. Take a look at that. Pretty straightforward. It works well once it's set up, um, but it's not really too many bells and whistles. An idea of how formatted text looks. It does actually let you pinch and zoom. You can zoom in on your message and pan around with it. Oh, excuse me. Uh, use the arrows, the left and right, to pan through messages. Here we've got the preloaded music app. So there's the music player to play things that are already stored on the phone itself. Uh, radio, so you can use uh, FM radio. Comes also with Slacker preloaded, so you can have uh, internet radio services. OV Maps is preloaded on as well. It's free to use OV Maps. It's a full navigation suite. Uh, go and look, take a look at our contacts. Standard contact list here it does show the pictures of contacts uh, next to them. Open that up. And it gives you some details. If you had linked them with a the social network, you'd be able to see uh, any updates and stuff like that from Facebook or Twitter with the social network integration. So there's a minor minor integration that Nokia offers. Taking a look at the calendar here. Pretty straightforward calendar. It's kind of got a unique feature there where it uh, will automatically scroll through your events of the day. You can tap a day and look at the entire day there. And scroll through it. If you swipe left or right, you can pan through pages. Taking a look at the browser here, it's kind of an interesting thing. We're connected to a Wi-Fi network now, and it won't actually let us load the home page while we're connected to a Wi-Fi network. It will only let you do that on a cellular connection. You can see once it loads up, uh, you will not be able to access T-Mobile services while you're on Wi-Fi. See how it loads up our website here. The browser is said to be improved over the original C7, um, but it is not really great. As you can see, it's quite slow. It's taking a while to make a connection here. There it goes. Loaded up our mobile version of our site. Scrolling is fairly smooth, but it is a bit choppy as well. Let's take a look at what the full site looks like, how it can handle that. Rotate it and it should pop into horizontal mode. There we go, the landscape. So even though it's not loaded, you can still pan around. Quite slow, however. It does support pinch to zoom. 
There we go. But it does it in more of a uh, choppy type of format. Does not do it very smoothly. It supports Flash as well. Um, personally, I would not try to watch a Flash video on it though, just because the experience that we're having here is so choppy. I imagine it would be quite difficult to actually have a decent experience. Double tapping works to format text though, so it makes it easier to read text when you're uh, browsing the web page. You know, this arrow here brings up some options here. You can jump to your home page, search the page that you're on, look at your different windows. You can have more than one window open at once. Now, interesting, the uh, home screens actually work in full horizontal support as well, something you don't see too often on other platforms like Android. Of course, a bit amount of effort to page through the screens here. It's um, a bit choppy, to be honest with you, and a little bit laggy. Here's the menu button. We'll bring up the menu if you press it once, or if you were to hold it, brings up the multitasking screen, the open applications, so you can jump between applications. Right now it's just the menu button, but then you can close that. Uh, if we had multiple applications at once, we'd be able to pan through them with there. Taking a look at the camera interface here, uh, as you can see, you've got some options on screen to, to do different effects and such. If we hit the toolbar there, it brings up the option menu. You can change quite a few different um, photography settings here as far as white balance and color and, and there's different scene modes like standard camera it also has face detection as well um, taking a look at the camera itself though unfortunately because Nokia didn't put an autofocus camera on here uh, unless you're very far away from your subject everything's going to be kind of blurry as you can take a look here it'll take a snap quick picture here and Take a look at that closer. As you can see, it's quite blurry because the camera didn't actually focus. Just took the picture immediately without trying to autofocus at all. Switching over to video, here we've got the video camera so toggle here. It does record 720p HD video. So that we can record a quick video here. Go back to our photo gallery. And you can see it play back. So it's a quick look at the hardware and uh, software of the Nokia Stound. Uh, we're going to be doing a full review as well, so be sure to check that out and stay tuned for that. Uh, this is Dan from MobileBurn.com. Thanks again, guys.